show you today are Tom Tatoes. No, I haven't gone completely mad. Um, this is what they're called. Okay, they're Tom Tatoes. They're tomatoes on the top and potatoes down the bottom. Now, um, you can get these from Thompson & Morgan. Well, actually, by the time I'm doing this video, you can't get them from Thompson & Morgan anymore, but you most probably will be able to next season. You can't grow them from seed. They, they send you little plugs, little plants. Um, now, I saw these in their magazine at the beginning of this season, and I thought, okay, that looks quite interesting. But one plant, I think, was 14 99 which I felt was horrendously expensive. So I didn't buy one. I thought, I'll wait until they come down in price and then maybe try some. But I went to Gardener's World last week and they were selling them there. Uh, they were selling them for a pound each uh, or you could get five for four pounds. Now, that's an offer I couldn't really refuse. So I got five plants for four pounds. Um, I do find this a, a little tricky, I have to admit, because when you plant your tomatoes and your potatoes, you're supposed to keep them as far apart as you possibly can, and you know, a minimum of four or five feet close to each other because they both get blight, and if one gets blight, they will give it to the other. But apparently these don't get blight. Um, so I am curious to see how they turn out. If anybody has tried them before, um, or, or this is your first season, let me know how they get on. I will keep you updated. But I have four beautiful plants here of these Tom Tatoes that are already starting to get some flowers on the top. Um, they were selling them really cheap because they're now too big for them to post out because they kept getting damaged. Um, so I'm going to show you um, how I'm going to plant these. Right, now when you plant these, I'm going to plant mine, I've got a little space in between the pumpkins and the celeriac here. Um, I've got what I was using as a little path, but um, I'll plant them here. Now when you plant them in the ground, you need to plant them the same distance away that you would plant potatoes, because obviously the potatoes have got to, to grow. Um, so space them a good foot to a foot and a half um, away from each other. Um, I'm growing four down here on the allotment um, and I got a free bag with them as well so I'm going to grow one at home um, just in case the ones down here don't do very well so I've, I can, um, I've, I've got a backup just in case. So just dig a nice big hole to put them in. Okay they could do with if you've got some manure then stick some manure round them as well and in the hole okay because I can imagine that these will be very hungry plants as well and we'll just take it out of its box uh, out of its pot and there's you can see that there's some lovely root system so hopefully the potatoes oh look I didn't notice this before can you Oh, I hope you can see that. Can you see that one potato down there? There. There we go. Um, so we'll put it in. Make sure you put it in deeper than it was in the pot. Like tomatoes, you can plant tomatoes deeper than they were in the pot. Um, because you need to make sure that you cover up any of those potatoes that are there. And just bring the soil back round. Give it a good push down to make sure that it's nice and firm and then I think we'll just water it and we'll stake it. Right so a good nice good water as you would uh, with your tomatoes. There we are and then we'll put a stake in, push it down nice and firmly because these will grow quite tall she says push it down firmly, but the ground's quite hard. So I don't know how far it'll go down. Oh, let me go. Ugh. 
There we go. And tie it into the steak. Now, you do need to, it says you need to side shoot these. Uh, if you're going to grow them in a container, you need, the container needs to hold at least 40 litres of compost. Um, and needs to be about 20 centi sorry 20 inches across um, these plants are grafted um, and make sure that you don't put them out until all um, all frost has gone from your area um, yeah but the guy said to me he said you need to you need to side shoot well he said you don't side shoot them but on here it says you do side each week remove any side shoots so I don't know um, I think I will side shoot some and I won't side shoot others and I'll see um, but these should get really quite tall they should get the height of the tomato does um, and he also said to me that when you get um, about four or five trusses of the tomato flowers then pinch out the top so I'll carry on and I'll do the other um, the other three here and then when I get home I'll do the other one at home um, but yes it says side shoot them each week remove any side shoots if any potato shoots appear pinch them out at ground level so um, seems a bit strange but anyway um, but I, I would just um, keep the soil nice nice and high as high as you can um, make sure that you you plant them lower than they were in the pot uh, treat the bottom as you would a potato the top as you would a tomato and hopefully it'll all turn out well but um, I will keep you updated with their progress um, I'm curious to know how they turn out and how they work with each other so um, but there we go try something new so um, you most probably won't be able to get them now because it is quite late um, but if they are successful and you consider it for next year um, then please do okay well i hope you found that useful and i will see you soon